once upon a time, in a land far, far away, an old farmer called his two sons to speak with them. My sons, I am very old now. I want to see you build a happy home with your future wives. The farmer went out to the wooded area in the garden with his sons. He asked his sons to each cut down a tree. You will find the love of your life in the direction your tree falls. But do not forget to plant a sapling for every tree that you cut. The boys first planted two saplings in the ground. The big brother Jack cut down the oldest tree he had ever seen, as his father had said. And the tree fell on the north walkway. Later, youngest brother Thomas cut down an old tree. But his tree fell in the middle of the forest road. Looks like a deer in the forest is waiting for you to get married. (laughs) Thomas didn't let his brother's teasing bother him. Both brothers set out with great courage. After a while, Jack reached his true love, whom he found in the north. He gave her flowers and asked her to be his wife. But Thomas was wandering alone in the desolate forest. Eventually, he saw a small hut among the trees. He went in, but didn't see anyone. There's no one here. What do you mean there is no one? I'm here. What? A mouse was gently combing her mustache in a corner of the hut. You look disappointed. Hmm? Okay. But you are a mouse, not a human. I came here to find the love of my life. The little mouse told Thomas that she could be the love of his life. But Thomas didn't believe it. Then I'm sorry. You won't find another girl in this forest. I'm the only one here to be your true love. But how can I trust you? I promise you, right now, with all my heart, I will be your princess. Thomas was impressed by these words and felt that somehow this must be his true love. That evening, the two brothers told their farmer father about the people they had met. Tell me, can the people you met cook well? Yes, she can cook. Then I ask each spouse to make me a loaf of bread. Along the way, Thomas went to the hut he had discovered in the woods, wondering if a mouse could make bread. He immediately asked the little mouse if she could make bread. Of course I can. Wait a little. The little mouse rang a silver triangular bell. Then... A few mice came to her. The little mouse asked them for the best wheat grain they could find. As Thomas watched in amazement, one of the mice brought the best wheat grain. The little mouse made a delicious bread from this wheat grain. Thomas thanked the little mouse and returned home immediately. Big Brother Jack brought his father a rye bread and Thomas a fresh wheat bread. Both of your breads look very good, but the freshest is the bread that Thomas brought. (laughs) Tell me, Thomas, is your spouse a forest princess? (laughs) The farmer told his sons that it was time to meet their wives. Thomas went to the little mouse's house with great joy. The little mouse, in her best attire, rang the silver triangular bell. A beautiful car with a driver came right before her. The little mouse got into the car and they drove home with Thomas. As they were moving along the road, they came across a rickety bridge built over the river. The mouse driver did not notice a stone on the bridge and it made the car bounce the mouse right into the river with her car. 
Oh no, my love, my love! What am I going to do now? Thomas wept on the bridge, and the tears fell into the deadly river waters below. A beautiful young lady appeared in front of him. She had silver hair and blue eyes. Thomas, it's okay. Come with me or we'll be late. What? How? how? You, you? Yes, Thomas, it's me, your love. I've been under an evil spell for a long time. If your tears hadn't mixed with the river water, I would have remained a mouse for the rest of my life. Thanks to your love for me, I am a princess again, Thomas. Thomas and the beautiful princess finally arrived at Thomas's house. Thomas, my son, we are so glad you introduced us to such a lovely princess. It turns out that Thomas's luck was not due to the tree he cut, but to the fact that he was kind to every animal and human being he saw. From that day on, Thomas and the beautiful princess, who was once a mouse, lived happily together for a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs>